So hi guys and welcome to you all in my another video and today video is about you know the journey from India to you know the Cambridge University ek ladki jo hai ek chote se gaon se kaise education leti hai aur fir jo hai wo hai na bachelor degree kiya wahan se fir master degree aims you know har ek ka dream hota hai ke aims mein jo hai admission mile har ek ke liye even though sab log ka sapna jo hai medical mein jaane ka hota hai ke mbbs kare पर अगर एम नहीं करते तो एम्स में बहुत सारे ऐसे कोर्सेज हैं अलाइड हेल्थ साइंसेज में बहुत सारे कोर्सेज वहाँ पे होते हैं स्पेशली जो है बायोटेक्नोलॉजी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और फार्माकोलॉजी एनाटोमी फिजियोलॉजी है ना इस टाइप के बहुत सारे कोर्सेज वहाँ पे होते हैं तो वहाँ पर जो है उसमें भी एडमिशन मिलना एक ड्रीम है होता है हर एक बच्चे का बहुत सारे बच्चों को गाइडेंस नहीं होती है कि वहाँ पर कैसे जो है एडमिशन मिले तो प्रीति बेसिकली शीज फ्रॉम कानपुर बैचलर डिग्री इन जो है साइंस बीएससी बोले कानपुर से उन्होंने किया है फिर जो है उन्होंने एमएससी किया है जो है एम्स से और फिर जो है ये पीएचडी कर रही हैं जे एन यू से दिल्ली में और फिर इन्होंने जो है एक इनको स्कॉलरशिप मिली थी तो कैम्ब्रिज भी गई थी तो बेसिकली मैंने इनका एक आर्टिकल पढ़ा था वो कैम्ब्रिज यूनिवर्सिटी ने ही वो उसको वो किया था हाईलाइट तो वो मुझे लगा फिर मैंने इनसे रिक्वेस्ट किया कि एक इंटरव्यू के लिए तो इनकी जो जर्नी है बेसिकली आपको बहुत ज्यादा इंस्पायर करेगी कि छोटे से एक गांव से लेके जहाँ डेढ़ सौ दो सौ लोगों की पॉपुलेशन है वहां से लेके यहाँ तक इनका सफर कैसा रहा और आप लोग की लाइफ में भी जो है ना बहुत सारे स्टेप्स आप लोग यहाँ सीख सकते हैं आप कैसे आपको आगे बढ़ना है चलिए हम लोग अभी शुरू करते हैं तो प्लीज सही जानते हैं कि उनके बारे में तो प्लीज कैन यू कैन यू प्लीज गिव अस योर ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन Uh, hi everyone uh, i am preeti uh, and i belong to a small village bodhipur from fatehpur district in up uh, i have done my higher secondary and senior secondary schooling from kanpur and then after that graduation in uh, basically my subjects were geology but i have opted an optional subject as a biotechnology because that time india was also receiving the biotechnology boom and industries were settling up in bangalore and delhi at many places Yeah. so i thought uh, this would be an interesting subject to study in future so i took it in my uh, optional subject in my third year and then i pursued for uh, master's degree in the same course uh, at all india institute of medical sciences and then i shifted to a phd uh, in a life sciences field and uh, my area of research is city school of life sciences आप तो बेसिकली यू नो जो है ना आपने कानपुर से बीएससी किया फिर जो आपने जो एमएससी किया तो जो बीएससी के बाद हाँ ये बहुत ही एक इंटरेस्टिंग बात दोस्तों ये है कि बायोटेक्नोलॉजी अभी सात आठ दस साल पहले ये बोला जाता था कि जिसको मेडिकल में एडमिशन नहीं मिल रहा था या तो फार्मेसी में जा रहा था या बायोटेक्नोलॉजी में जा रहा था इवन आप मैं फार्मासिस्ट हूँ मैं फार्मेसी बैकग्राउंड से हूँ तो इवन बहुत सारी जो मास्टर डिग्री इंट्रोड्यूस की गई थी बीटेक एमटेक बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बी एस सी एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी और स्कोप है उसका अभी मगर लॉन्ग टर्म में पीएचडी करने के बाद बहुत सारा स्कोप है उसका तो आपको ये जो ए, ये जो एडमिशन मिला एम्स में ये इसका क्या प्रोसेस है इसका हाँ ऑल इंडिया एंट्रेंस एग्जाम जो कंडक्ट होता है एवरी ईयर एम्स का सो देर इज अफिकेशन कम्स इन अराउंड अप्रैल टू मे initially when i was applied but now uh, they have releasing uh, twice a year application but for masters program only uh, uh, they applied matlab they requested it to uh, to apply for the monsoon semester session basically because in winter semester only phd programs interest examination was conducted so uh, all india entrance exam notification come you can apply for the Uh, entrance examination and the entrance examination pattern is for the different background people like if you belongs to a chemistry background also you can uh, fill this application form for biotechnology bi biochemistry and microbiology course exceptionally for like pharmacology or anatomy or physiology you need to have a biological sciences degree you other chemistry people cannot apply for those courses yes. but there is a no. scope for chemistry people in these three or four mm -hmm. courses तो एम्स का जो एग्जाम होता है दोस्तों ये आ, दो बार जो होता है एग्जाम ये बेसिकली जो पीएचडी के लिए दो इंटेक होती हैं और पर मास्टर डिग्री के लिए एक ही इंटेक होती है तो ऐसे मान के चलिए कि आपने अप्रैल मई में जब फॉर्म फिल किया तो जो जुलाई से जो इंटेक होगी उसमें आपको एडमिशन मिलेगी और जो है 
और ये जो अगर आप हेल्थ साइंस हैं कोई मेरे बहुत सारे सब्सक्राइबर बेसिकली हेल्थ साइंस वाले हैं तो अगर आप फार्मेसी से हैं तो यहाँ पर एमएससी होती है इसको बोलते हैं तीन साल की मेडिकल फार्माकोलॉजी के अंदर तो आप लोग उसको एलिजिबल हैं या और भी जो सब्जेक्ट्स हैं आप वहाँ पर कर सकते हैं तो मगर आपने अगर बेसिक साइंस में डिग्री की है बी किए हुआ है तो फिर आपके लिए ये एक हो सकता है जो आपने ऐसे केमिकल साइंस में किया हुआ तो जो क्वेश्चन होते हैं ये एम बेस्ड होते हैं मतलब इस टाइप क्वेश्चन पास करते कितने क्वेश्चन होते हैं हाँ क्वेश्चन कम्स इन एम सी क्यूज बेस्ड एंड देर वर टू सेक्शन इन द्वेश्चन पेपर देर इज अनरल साइंस सेक्शन एंड देर इज अफिक सब्जेक्ट सेक्शन सो सब्जेक्ट सेक्शन ऑलमोस्ट लाइक फिफ्टी फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी फ्रॉम दार्ट ऑफ बेसिक सब्जेक्ट योर फ्रॉम जूलॉजी एंड the other subjects like uh, which been listed in biotechnology molecular biology cell biology immunology uh, developmental biology and uh, animal physiology so there will be no questions from the plant background comes in this papers so you can only focus on the part animal physiology and uh, as a subject for zoology also in the general science question there are some questions comes from chemistry uh, mostly physical chemistry questions will come the titration questions or the uh, calculative questions of uh, different uh, uh, buffering system and all uh, which comes but there was very less question which i have been seeing from at least past 6 to 7 years when i guide the students so organic chemistry questions may have some relevance but they do mostly questions for the factual but inorganic questions in organic chemistry part is less but also the mathematical questions come in a general science so the reasoning part of the like mostly verbal and non verbal reasoning questions come so if you have at least a good mathematics aptitude for the till 10th standard uh, then you can easily solve those questions some questions come from the physics as well because physics any subjects in bio uh, biotechnology and biology like so you can study at least your 12th class of uh, physics uh, specifically like two three topics magnetism electricity and also the pressure and liquidity questions तो थोड़ा सा जो है आपको फिजिक्स पढ़ना है थोड़ा सा जो है मैथमेटिक्स टेंथ ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड की और ये सारी चीजें क्योंकि आप जो है मास्टर डिग्री के लिए एडमिशन ले रहे हैं तो बेसिकली जो मोर मेजर क्वेश्चन होगा वो आपके बैचलर डिग्री से ही आप पूछ जाएंगे तो ये जो आ, इसकी फीस कितनी होती है एम्स में Yeah. Uh, the fees is very nominally names, and that is what one of the biggest factor I could have been studied there. It it was ninety rupees when I studied. Uh, the fees has increased, I think, so it's around one forty or one fifty rupees uh, <laughs> since two thousand. मतलब फ्री है आपको फीस देनी नहीं है डेढ़ सौ रुपए क्या होते हैं यार ये तो कोई वो नहीं है तो अच्छा कुछ ऐसा स्टाइपेंड भी मिलता है जब आप कोई एम्स में स्टडी कर रहे हो यस इन सम ऑफ द कोर्सेज देर इज अटाइपेंड अच्छा Yeah. and if you don't allow your family conditions to opt for without scholarship courses then you it can only fill the application for for the so dekho basically agar aapne ye entrance pass kar liya to aapki jo education hai basically free hai kuch fees hai nahi और कुछ कोर्सेज में आपको स्टाइपेंड भी आप मिल सकता है तो अच्छा है तो ये बताइए फिर आपने ये पीएचडी जो है एम्स में क्यों नहीं किया आपने जेएनयू का ये सफर आपने एकदम ट्रैक चेंज क्यों कर दिया uh actually uh, after uh, pursuing msc from the uh, aims i have uh, given the exa- entrance examination of aims and then i did qualified them but uh, like uh, the supervisor where i have done my master's dissertation asked me to go for another opportunity or another institute so that i can have an uh, another experience because yes. whatever experience i have to be here i have taken it in uh, during my masters days and it is always better if you can shift to another institute and uh, you know well about the the culture of other institute and also your growth will be much better if you, so, you know, keep uh, changing yeah. your is many people think that aims is very you know the top university you know 
uh, as compared to other universities. But uh, as, as an, I'm, I'm in Australia, I know. So if I'm internationally, if I'm standard, if I'm in the JNU, one of the top universities in the world ranking, if we're in the world ranking, it means that it's going to go to AIMS. मगर अगर हम इंडिया में शायद लोग बोलते हैं कि एम्स बहुत आगे जे एन यू शायद आगे नहीं है ना मगर इंटरनेशनली बहुत ही रिकोगनाइज यूनिवर्सिटी है जे एन यू तो ये जे एन यू में आपको ये, ये कौन सा एंट्रेंस देना पड़ता है पी के लिए जे एन यू में देर आर मैनी स्कूल विच है डिफरेंट रिसर्च सेंटर्स बिकॉज द जे एन यू इज बेसिकली रिसर्च यूनिवर्सिटी दे डजेंट ऑफर एनी ग्रेजुएशन कोर्सेज एक्सेप्ट द लैंग्वेज कोर्सेज सो मोस्ट ऑफ द people do apply for the research university course because it have a different uh, culture of research in this university comparative to the other in the central universities uh, so that is the advantage of jnu and i also shifted from only this perspective ki uh, yes the both institute where i belong for my masters degree and this university have a equal potential in the research capacity or research output to the country and worldwide Yes. so the different centers offer uh, different programs but here there is a foundation while you are appearing for the entrance examination you can only apply for three courses okay. maximum in one entrance examination okay because uh, the examination conducts in a like uh, different com- uh, permutation combination manner so while selecting the different courses you have to see that your exams dates will not be clashing or your exam schedule is not clashing with the other program and they allow in a uh, a similar fee three courses to apply for the three different uh, uh, papers you can uh, opt three different courses wherever like Mali, the, the in jnu there are five different science centers school of biotechnology school of life sciences school of environmental sciences and there are two special centers molecular medicine and nano sciences for physical science and chemical sciences there are three centers for uh, available physical sciences chemical sciences mathematical sciences and for the computational students two different centers are available here uh, institute uh, the center for uh, integrative studies and center for computational studies so many students who wanted to shift or uh, Uh, just to, wanted to do some interdisciplinary research in like uh, if you wanted to do in the computational biology research so integrative sciences school is much more better than the basic sciences like life sciences or biotechnology so the information uh, about the school and research is available in the school pages or the center pages so before applying for the phd program it is my advice to all the students that at least go and check the details of the center and then select uh, according to your preferences or interest of phd that which center or which school is much more uh, their area of research and then they can appear for the entrance examination so is there any you know uh, when we are applying for phd so is there any opportunity uh, also for- like in jnu there are they can also uh, uh, yeah through uh, jrf uh, scheme also there are seats are available okay so i am ask- uh, asking to you that uh, is there any opportunity for me can i choose uh, this supervisor for me or just university will choose you know uh, no no uh, after uh, once the like uh, entrance examination happens the interview process goes and the final list come uh, after getting selected uh, there is a like orientation programs happen and the students are allowed to go and talk to the different uh, supervisors they wanted to choose so it's a kind of mutual understanding between the supervisor and the student it's, it's not a forceful uh, okay. from any side so okay. if your mutual understanding develops between the supervisor and a student and then uh, the supervisor agrees so there is a, a form which we need to submit after 15 or 20 days of joining the institute so you can uh, get it signed by the supervisor and then submit it to the school offices or so, the administrative yeah. processes ji yeah i mean it's uh, not a random allotment okay okay so you know agar ye this is the basic difference in abroad when you are going to apply for phd for example if you are looking phd in australia to australia mein kya hai just simple aapko kisi bhi university ke professor ko aapko choose karna hai usko email karni hai aur agar professor agar agree karta hai aapko lene ke liye to fir wo aapka application process karwayega aur mai yahan pe kya hai ki aapko pehle entrance clear karna hai fir aapko interview dena hai mm-hmm. फिर उसके बाद फिर जो है ओरिएंटेशन में आप जाएंगे 
और फिर आप अपना सुपरवाइजर आप चूज कर सकते हैं कि आपको जो है आप कौन सा सुपरवाइजर चाहिए अच्छा तो ये जो स्टाइपेंट कितना मिलता है बेसिकली पीएचडी में जे एन यू के अंदर मंथली Uh, it uh, it depends if you have qualified the jrf then you can activate your jrf scholarship and uh, the central government scheme which provides the scholarship of J- jrf and srf which includes that for the five year uh, program so, so uh, when so i joined I... it the scholarship uh, scholarship was decided from the government okay uh, and this is also a public funded university but uh, there was an option if you haven't qualified jrf yet and still you are planning to give the jrf uh so the uh, university grants commission provide 8000 rupees per month scholarship okay i mean agar aapne jrf nahi bhi kiya hai tabhi bhi ugc ki taraf se 8000 aapko milenge matlab aapne jrf ko qualify kar liya to fir uske according jrf jo senior jo hoti hai uske according fir aapko jo hai wo monthly stipend aapko milega acha to ye phd kitne saal mein on an average khatam ho jati hai jnu ke andar uh most of the students complete it within like uh, the, uh according to the schedule it's like one year of post work and four years of phd but initially university has the mphil phd mind so it was a six year or to seven year program like according to the mphil submission then the phd uh, confirmation happens so some people able to finish it in 6 year and uh, their course and some people able to finish it in the 7 year initially but now the mphil has been almost uh, like sep- uh, initially it was separated the mphil and phd course but now it is almost removed because the new education policy doesn't uh, prefer for the mphil research so from last year the university is not offering any mphil program only phd program so one year course work and then four years of the phd uh, you can also get a one year of extension if you won't able to finish it your uh, uh, proposed objective of the thesis but so maximum yeah. that is the possible so you know this is the main difference in india and abroad you are always ask me this question you know so australia may for example you can finish your phd 3.5 year i finish my phd 3.5 year but if you are going for example us us might be take 4 to 5 year so you know but here in jnu also you know it's it like 5 to 6 year ek saal ka jo course work hai fir chatal ko aapko jo research karni hai to total 5 saal mein bhi kar sakte hain magar aapko kuch log 6 saal 7 saal bhi kar le karte hain par on an average laga lijiye ki 5 saal mein log wahan pe phd aaj ki date mein log आप hmm. कर सकते हैं जे एन के अंदर तो अब आप ये बताइए कि आपके ये ये जो ये कौन सी ग्रांट थी जो आपने अप्लाई हाँ. किया ये कैम्ब्रिज वाला ये क्या था इट इट वाज इन अ शॉर्ट टर्म फेलोशिप विद इन पी एच डी देर आर मैनी डिफरेंट स्कीम्स आर ओपन फॉर द शॉर्ट टर्म fellowships for the phd students who is who are enrolled in different institutes of the uh, or universities in india yeah. so they can go for the different time periods like an exchange program so if uh, this is not an exchange program it is completely on a, a individual student uh, that uh, you have to submit the application for the different funding agencies and uh, offered by them so this fellowship is offered uh, the, by the british council in collaboration with the two indian partners department of science and technology and department of biotechnology okay so every year they have uh, released the notification uh, at different time points you have to keep checking it there is no fixed time schedule for this fellowship sometimes the application opens at may and uh, you have uh, at least two months of the time they give if they release it in uh, in the may you can submit your application form after that two three ma- after the two three months they will release the uh, final selected student and then oh yes it was in yeah aap aapka mute ho gaya ye स्कॉलरशिप फॉर थ्री इयर्स or 3.5 years uh, to di- uh, different uh, universities in uk 
because it's yeah. funded by british council so only yeah, you have a yeah. chance to go to united yeah. kingdom universities to aapne kitne time wahan pe aap cambridge mein thi six months ko gayi thi aap wahan nahi nahi i went it for five months okay to aap but, ka uh, yeah डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द प्रोटीन Uh, my lab was working initially so i have chosen one of the cytoskeleton protein and initially as we are too much uh, optimistic when we join the phd that we can, we can do so many things so i have chosen a hard project maybe i guess but yes i have learned a lot and that is how i also explore so many opportunities uh, to at least finish this experiment or finish this kind of my one of the phd objective या तो मैं एक क्वेश्चन ये था कि आप मतलब इंडिया की में जो रिसर्च कर रहे हैं आप आप एम्स में थी फिर जे में और आप कैम्ब्रिज जो है वन ऑफ द टॉप यूनिवर्सिटी इन द वर्ल्ड तो क्या डिफरेंस yes. क्या डिफरेंस लगा आपको दोनों में वर्क कल्चर yes. में लैब्स में और लोगों में कैसा जैसे yeah. वहाँ वा, के प्रोफेसर कैसे थे इंडियन प्रोफेसर कैसे होते हैं uh, yes, if you compare with the indian supervisors to the supervisors who have been in the uk uh, but i am in i am maybe the luckiest person in this case that uh, my indian supervisor is also comparatively good uh, rather than the supervisors which i have seen in my itself my department and uh, to the other fellows who who have been admitted with me and is still doing phd with me yeah uh but in in foreign countries the envi- research environment is quite different i feel that uh, the more labor we do here but we get less result uh, but in the foreign countries our scientific temperaments will be uh, uh like uh, much more uh, good and expressed by and refined by them because yes. there we have to do a less labor because the facilities and infrastructure is available and we do not have to think about the small things how to purchase this chemical or that chemical it is all there is a set procedures there Everything and the funding yes. opportunities yes yeah actually yeah. if you are going for abroad if you so need the product, any, yes so the productivity is more yeah uh, in the foreign countries especially in my experience my productivity was more there in comparative to here but so yes I, i tried at, well at yes, the at the at the end kya aap logon ko bolna chahenge jo hum log ko dekh rahe hain jo student hain jo log apna hmm. dream ko pursue karna chahte hain to aapka kya last message especially jo girls hain bahut sare girls mein se poochti hain sir ki main akeli ladki hu kya main ye kar sakti hu ya ya nahi kar sakti hu aap sab kuch kar sakte ho jo ek ladka kar sakta hai wo aap bhi kar sakte ho aap dekh sakte ho ki preeti jo hai kahan se kahan pahunch gayi hai to aapka kya message hai aise girls ke liye uh yes of course this uh, inherent feeling still resides in every woman in india and it was me me uh, as well uh, who have all these feelings when i uh, started my journey even from kanpur university to aims that i have struggled for even my language barrier because hindi medium to english medium it was a like so much difficult for me to survive Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, once you face a big challenge in your life then you are ready for the small challenges in your life yeah. so my uh, message to all the women that uh, yes we have so many uh, limits in our brain so just try to go beyond that uh, it it is just made in, in our mind it's not actually existing in the when you start actioning or when you start just walking on that path yes there are small challenges but yes you can do it nothing is like uh, no, nothing it is, is possible I, I, to do it yes yes nothing is impossible but dosto basically i am also from up or maybe ek hindi medium se yahan australia mein hu to aap log aisa nahi hai ki language ki wajah se aap aage nahi badh sakte magar aapka apna determination hona chahiye aapka aim kya hai ki aapko usko kaise pursue karna hai aapko guidance अच्छे मिलने चाहिए तो आप खुद से खुद आपको रास्ते आगे मिलते चले जाएंगे अगर आप मेहनत करेंगे तो इम्पॉसिबल कुछ भी नहीं है सब कुछ पॉसिबल है पर ये आपके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कि आप क्या चाहते हो हाँ, है थिंग्स 
यस कि अगर आपने बीच में ही छोड़ दिया या जॉब नहीं मिल रही है लोग कंप्लेन करते रहते हैं यार जॉब नहीं है बीएससी एमएससी कर लिया ये कर लिया वो कर लिया तो ऐसी बात नहीं है बहुत जो स्कोप है आप yes, अगर आपके in... अंदर हाँ जी जी बोली लास्ट में या हाँ मतलब यस इफ यू थिंक थिंकिंग फॉर अ जॉब देन Uh, you have to think dif- in a different perspective uh, because the opportunities are i think so available in every uh, situation so it is on your own decision uh, and of course like people thinks and if they have made any decision it won't have flaws yes every decision you make some flaws and there are some beautiness in that uh, uh, we have to only learn how to accept it like if mm-hmm. you are doing phd Uh, a kind of different stress level you have to handle and then it will make you much more uh, better experience and better person in your life if you want to go for a, jo- a job then that is the, that decision has a different things you have a good and uh, bad as well dosto agar phd most of the people ka- yeah dosto agar phd agar people complain because of this only अगर आप पीएचडी करना चाहते हैं तो पीएचडी इज नॉट ए कोर्स बेसिकली कोई कोर्स नहीं है क्या तीन साल में या चार साल में आप खत्म कर लेंगे ये आपके अपने ऊपर है और बहुत सारे टाइम पे आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि शायद पीएचडी आप कंप्लीट ना कर पाए शायद आप कुछ गलत कर रहे हैं आप कर नहीं पा रहे मेरे साथ भी ऐसा था जब मैं सेकेंड ईयर मतलब ये भी लगता था यार मैं कहाँ पर आ गया और मैं मगर ये एक लाइफ का एक पार्ट है ये पी ऐसा होता है कि फर्स्ट ईयर में आपको लगेगा बहुत आप ये भी कर लोगे आप ये भी करना चाहते हो आप ये करना चाहते हो फिर आपको लगेगा नहीं भाई ये छोटा सा एक एक टुकड़ा लेना है आपके अपनी फील्ड का और आपको उसी चीज का एक्सपर्ट बन रहा है ना ऐसा नहीं है कि सब कुछ आप नहीं कर सकते हैं एक पीएचडी कोई ऐसी चीज हाँ, नहीं है यही सब चीजें सीखने के लिए मिलती है हाँ हाँ शुरू शुरू में बच्चा होता है कि मैं ये भी कर लूंगा ये भी कर लूंगा मैं ये भी कर लूंगा पी एच में सब कुछ करूंगा मैं बहुत काम करूंगा मगर ऐसा नहीं होता है फिर आप टाइम के साथ आप सीखते हो फिर आप आपको अपने... फोकस होना पड़ता है जी 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 तो बहुत आपको ये रियलाइज मतलब द पीएचडी मेक्स यू लर्न दैट फ्रॉम द स्मॉल थिंग्स हाउ टू डिजाइन इट हाउ टू कंडक्ट इट एंड गिव योर सेल्फ द टाइम लिमिट्स एज वेल वेयर टू स्टॉप एंड वेयर टू स्टार्ट बिकॉज द रिसर्च कैन रिसर्च इज एन एंडलेस यू यू कैन नेवर स्टॉप and yes that is why generation after generations are doing research yes yeah. uh, uh, the project which i will leave in phd at some time point the another student which comes after me will continue it to the another level and then somebody else to the another level and that is how the research is continuously going on and we are reaching to different uh, technologies and things yes yes so abhi so, video bahut lamba ho gaya hai aur hum yahi isko खत्म करते हैं एंड प्लीज लीव ए कॉमेंट बिलो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन तो प्रीति आल्सो कैन रिप्लाई टू यू एंड आई विल आल्सो ट्राई टू रिप्लाई बिकॉज यू नो आप चीज फ्रॉम इंडिया तो जो इंडिया के जो एग्जाम्स वगैरह बताए मुझे भी इतनी जानकारी नहीं क्योंकि मैं तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में हूँ मगर आपके पास कोई क्वेश्चन है प्लीज लीव कीजिएगा कॉमेंट बिलो तो और आपको ये वीडियो कैसा लगा जरूर बताइएगा और प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई वीडियो तो आई कैन मेक माई वीडियो फॉर यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो